Hey fellow Star Wars citizens, Scrapshed here. Uh, welcome to day two of my life on a Carrick. Um, we had I had a little problem uh, with the Carrick today. I uh, I bought a um, a, uh, a Spartan that I wanted to test doing um, transferring the two SCU box to a a uh, unfriendly bunker, and I didn't realize that. Apparently you can only have so many vehicles checked out at a time, and when I went to check out the Spartan, the Carrick disappeared when I was down on uh, Edmund trying to trying to pull it out of, uh, or, you know, trying to get it set up on the uh, on the pad there. So, anyway, I had to come back to Everest Harbor, where we're going to basically kind of start from scratch again. Fortunately, though, I received many, many good comments about uh, some mistakes I made. When I was doing it originally, so I want to see how many of them I remember, and see if we can uh, do it right this time. Um, I do have the uh, well. Anyway, so we're going to reset the character. That's step one, and I think it'll go a lot faster this time because I think I have a better idea of what I'm doing now. Um, and then the the two things I really wanted to accomplish today was I like I said I wanted to test um, can a Spartan carry a two SCU box in it. And the reason I'm testing this is because when I tried it with the Ursa, if I hit a bump or a rock or anything, if, if I jostled the Ursa, the box fell out. Um, which, I mean, that, that happens, you know, all the time when you're traveling, on, you know, with a ground vehicle. So I'm hoping that I don't have the same problem with the Spartan, but I wanted to test that out as long as, you know, I had the Spartan. I thought I'd uh, put that in the, uh, in the Carrick and we would take it out some lonely area and uh, test that theory. So anyway, um, that's part one of what I'm going to get done today. And the second thing I want to do is I wanted to uh, try doing a try doing a titanium uh, run from Ariel to Hurston. So see how uh, see how the carrot candle is doing cargo. All right, so let's get started. Um, so one of the things that somebody said was they were welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. They thought it was a big mistake leaving. Welcome. The leaving the Carrick out there unintended um, when I while I was running inside to get the uh, Pisces back after I destroyed it. So I think this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the Pisces first, leave it unattended because it's a much smaller target. I don't think anybody's going to mess with it for the minute or two I'll be in here. Come get the Carrick, fly the Carrick over to the to the uh, Pisces and then land the Pisces on the on the Carrick. Also, somebody said I can actually land it. On top of the, Stand by. on top of the lane bay doors. The At least that's why I thought they were saying. So I'm gonna try that, see what happens. I, mean, you know, <laughs> I guess it, I guess something bad could happen, but I guess we'll find out. I don't know. Like I can't imagine going to Quantum with a ship sitting on top of another ship, but we will see. I know four. I'm going to do this as quickly as I can, because so, we've already done this, you know, on day zero. I know you all don't want to see this again, but unfortunately, it is what it is. I really like the Pisces. This is such a cool little ship. I mean, I, I think I fly the um, Avenger Titan more often for doing, you know, Little puddle jump runs, but it's such a nice little ship for getting from point A to point B. Anthem Aerospace. All systems online. You are ready to launch. Engines online. I don't know why I put the landing gear up, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> See where we are. We need to go around to the back of the station. That's where the uh, that's where the pads are. Landing pads. Thank you. And please visit again. Landing gear deployed. Okay. Oh, of course the sun's right in my 
Hmm. I hate that. Okay. What if he gets this one over here? Yep. I see the pads. So I'll just park over here. Go back inside on the pad. And then we'll come back with the character and pick it up. So. Oh, I hear somebody wants to check us out. Oh, I hate that sun. Yep. No way I want to get that sun out of my eyes there. There we go. Okay. And we'll just park next to the pad. I actually tried landing on this pad too with my, with my clips. Just to see if they would let me... Uh, you know, resupply and stuff, and they do. It was pretty funny. You know, they nobody yelled at me, telling me get off the, and you're blocking a, you know, blocking a landing pad or anything. All right, this will do. Because I couldn't figure out what that was used for. I never saw. I never. I've never been. Given it as a landing location, even when I fly this little thing. So yeah, I, the only thing I fear is they're just for, there for us to restock if we're just coming in for repair and restock, or for doing this. I really should have loaded up the Pisces before I... Eh, that was dumb. Put put the uh, suits in it and stuff. Darn it. Well, so we will be sitting around a little longer than I probably would have liked. Man, this thing is big. Good lord. I think I would like to know what the rules are for bringing out, like, like, you know, I wanted to replace my, uh, mule with the, uh, with the Spartan. I mean, if I already have three vehicles out, how do I, like, check one back in, you know, and then, uh, get another out? Because it took the Carrick. It's like, I would have been happier if it took the Pisces. Or it took the mule. That would have been the best thing. So it took the one I really couldn't live without. Hmm. Uh, 
invitation. Oh, I'm gonna transfer before we go anywhere. Transfer my imprint. Open, come on. There we go. But I hope you aren't dying there. You can see that click every one of these doors to get through. <laughs> if you were hurt. Getting those little speed bumps. Alright, reach in. Transfer imprint. Because somebody else suggested just blowing up the Carrick. Like, don't shoot it, just blow it up. And then, of course, I would be right back here. So I'm going to try that. I'll just blow it up right in front of the uh, Carrick. Pisces. Thank you, and please visit again. Oh, okay. We're on the other side of that uh, tail section. I might be able to get like in a few feet of the Pisces, so it's like right. right above the uh, hangar bay. And that'd be pretty funny. I just walk right out and get it. edit this down a little bit. <laughs> this is taking a while. It's kind of like the reverse of landing. Oops. Go up. 
Oh no, it's gonna hit. Ooh, there we go. Perfect. And that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, I think I wanna turn off the engines. So this should be quick, right? No one should mess with me that quickly. Come on, come on, come on. Wait a minute. Elevator. Which cannot take me to the cartography deck. Where we need to go. Should have just ran around to the elevator. Also, somebody told me that in a comment that. I can auto land on, on the deck here, which I thought was fascinating. I was like, oh, I never even thought of that. So I don't know if we can do that on this section. Oops. This way. You know, on like the top of the deck. I'll give it a try. Let's see what happens. Okay, now how do I get up there? Right? Because we got gravity here. I guess I have to go. Off the edge. Yeah, okay. I got this. Maybe. Whoa, back up, back up. And up we go. Yeah. Come on. No, come on. No, come on. Come on. Don't, don't, don't do this. Thank you. I always have problems getting on ramps. <laughs> like that. When I do this with the Avenger, I always go through the cockpit just to avoid that. Telling me I can actually land right here. Not actually open up the bay doors. So we're gonna give that a try. That's pretty cool. You don't have to use the uh, hangar bay. Although I don't like, I don't know how safe that is for just the way back. I mean, can people get into the Pisces that way? I mean, is it safe? I don't know. Oops, what am I doing? to transfer everything I need to make the one, two SU box with.
the thing I should have done when I was in the character when I first brought it out. Yeah. SEM. Let's see if the if the Pisces is still out there. Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, come on. I was about to say. All right, so we gotta get just outside of. Actually, no, we can go wherever we want. Um, I don't feel like taking any chances, so we are going to go halfway to Magda. with us. And you know I forgot to get. We gotta go back. Darn it. I forgot to get a um, uh, tractor beam. Oh. I hope I still have some. So back we go. At least I thought that before uh, <laughs> we made the box. That would be very sad.
most interested to see if the uh, Pisces is still sitting up there. <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to check it after we stop here. Oh, it's getting the armistice down already. This is already taking forever. I do agree with somebody else's comment that they should let us buy these boxes instead of having to make them. It just seems really silly that uh, they'll sell us a box that's too small to hold anything. But they won't sell us a box that we could actually use. Okay, we're good to go. Let's put this on the ship, though. There we go. Alright. Back to our regularly scheduled program. Go put the places out. Now, somebody suggested that you could actually um, self-destruct the Pisces, and it would create the box. And this is actually attempt number two at creating the box, because I tried that, and all I got was a, a dead body. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, we're going to go do it the old-fashioned way. I'm going to stick it next to the port, uh, port set of rhinos. That's how I go back here. And we'll destroy it that way and do it the same way that we did the last time. Which I think was more fun anyway. Uh, the only problem though is I didn't think about... Um, I didn't bring a uh, second set of... Second set of... Uh, another set of undersuit. Or another undersuit. I only have one pair and that's going to be in the... Pisces, which will be in the box, <laughs> so we're, uh, I also did try putting out there, this is pretty cool, I like this, I'm happy it's still here, <laughs> putting it on top of the hangar bay instead of actually in the hangar bay. Oops. Okay, double check. All right, we've got our suits, our backpacks, helmets. I'll put this in. fly over in front of the port uh, port rhinos now without another undersuit I'm not going to be able to go out into space I'm going to have to get close enough to reel it in 
which I should be able to do, but oh, maybe a little further. Yeah, that's good. Alrighty. Shut down the power. And let's go take a walk. On the Carrick. Naked, but that's okay. And now I gotta remember where how to get to the port uh, port turret. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's on the sub deck. Oh no, this is the aft turret. All right. I wonder if I can see it from the aft turret. deck? No, habitation deck. That's too bad. I'll live for that. Station deck. Technical deck has to be there. That's the only one left. Yep, there it is. Alrighty. Oh, am I too close? <laughs> it's too late now. I guess I could move the Kirk if I had to. That is really close. Alright. Power, power. Power. Good grief. Okay. Alright, let's go get our box.
gosh, I, I could probably do this from here, couldn't I? With the, uh, well, that's the command console or something, I think it's called. The command station. scan. Okay, oh, well, there's the box. Alright, cool. Let's hope we're close enough right here. Well, you can't do much from the command station. Okay. Let's go get our clothes back. Really ran. Yay. Get some clothes on first. Let's put this stuff in the curb and then we'll take it back. Drop it off the station. I don't want to be. I don't want to have a 30k and lose these. These suits are very expensive. I already lost two of them in the explosion earlier. I have a. I had a pair of the. Um, the hot suits too. Hamburg. Okay, so that's taken care of. Oops. So now we just gotta stop by the station, drop off the suits, and then head on down to Edmund, pick up the Pisces again, and the um, Spartan. Do the Spartan test with the box, and then we can go do our uh, titanium run. I thought this would be the quick, easy part. This has been a real pain in the ass. Engines online. Oops. Wrong button. Any chance this thing will let me fly back to... Do I have to go to Magda? I do, don't I? Uh, this must be a bug. I don't know why I can't just stop in the middle and restart. Going somewhere else. It's really dumb. Back to the station.
or something. I was like, where's the station? <laughs> it's, uh, I'm really hoping the Spartan works out, because uh, I can't remember if I told you earlier, but the Ursa, the box would fall out. You hit a bump, like another rock or something, or God help you if you flipped over, and the box would fall out. So, I'm hoping the Spartan doesn't have the same issue, because then, man, that'd be awesome for uh, if you want to go loot bunkers. You know, the unfriendly ones. That'd be awesome sauce. Transfer me out of here. Unless the vehicle doesn't show up. There we go. Don't need that for this time around. Get back over there. Undersuits. where we want to go. And thankfully it's daytime. I really hate trying to fly at night with this thing. It is just... Ugh. I really think what they should start doing with their ships is putting, like, floodlights on the bottom, you know? So, I mean, it's nice to have lights at the front, but, man, I could really use some decent lights when I'm trying to land. I don't want to move too quickly down through the atmosphere because I don't know how this thing I still haven't flown enough to know how well it reacts um, you know coming down to the down to uh, the planet matter of fact I'm going to put the VTOL on now so it usually takes me a little while <laughs> like, like with the C2 I'd be just phew, I'd be down there in a heartbeat. 
but these things like this and the, like I said the caterpillar is just that thing's insane I can't fly that to save my life okay let's just try and get down there before it gets dark that's all Alright, um, I think we'll start with the Spartan. I drove down earlier today. That's a, that's pretty neat. I like it. That's pretty nice. It, uh, 
It's slower than either the Ursa or the PTV, but I think it handles better. Like it, it just uh, and it doesn't. It feels like the other ones are the other two are actually too fast. You know, like I don't need to go that fast considering the terrain. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Um, trying to who makes this part of the handle. Insurance claim has been sent. Your vehicle has been moved to our storage facility. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to Please the following location. Okay. Let's go get it. side. I think this is going to go in the, uh, be able to go into the, um, my, uh, Mercury Star Runner. I still, I don't know, I might try fitting it, but I, this thing is big. This looks like this is going to go fit in like a character, maybe, or a C2. button, I must press it. Why did you not open it? This fits. I'm going to be very depressed. Otherwise, it means I have to take the C2 whenever I want to use this guy. I think it has potential. Okay. Too tight? Let's see. Oh, come on, we're so close. No, are we stuck? No. Oh, it must be the... Yeah, we can't get in. Oh, man. I think we're done. I think the only thing this thing will fit in is a C2. I'm trying to back up now. Oh well. It was a nice idea. Uh, okay. Alright, well, 
least we got it out. <laughs> Man, I darn it darn it means I can't test because I can't use the uh, tractor beam. Man, I can't use tractor beam. I mean, I guess I could. I guess I could leave this guy here, fly out, and then come back. No, nah, that really wouldn't work. So I have to I have to hoof it back here. That'd be pain in the ass for right now. So you know what? Darn it, man! I can't. No, I can. I think. Can I? Okay, here comes the problem. What do I do about the the Pisces now? I think we're going to have to go without one of the vehicles. So we'll just put the Pisces on. And we'll put the Pisces on. Because last time I tried this four vehicle thing, I lost the Carrick. And I was like, I don't want to go through that again. Well, that's too bad. So it looks like the only thing this thing will fit in is the uh, Hercules. Man, I so wanted to make that work. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Hmm. Oh well, good try, buddy, good try. At least we got it out. That would have been really... Unfortunate. <laughs> of course, I probably damaged the heck out of the guy with character doing that. But yeah, I think that uh, that Spartan I'll have to put it in the C2 and, and try it with the uh, two SCU box. Because that thing is, uh, if that worked, that would be awesome. Okay, let's get the Pisces. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Your insurance claim has been sent. Your vehicle has been moved to our storage facility. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. location. Well, I hope the Carrick is still there. That'd <laughs> be really unfortunate. Okay, it's still there. Come around facing the right direction. Thank you, and please visit again. At least the wind stopped, I think. <laughs> Go uh, run some cargo.
Teleportation. to Ariel. We will not be going to Bezdek today. Oh, I mean, not yet. Hmm. Anyway, uh, we will not be going to Bezdek because um, apparently there's an issue with quantuming from Bezdek to uh, there we go. From Bezdek to uh, Hurston. I've had several instances where I basically had a, uh, it wasn't a 30k, the app crashed, basically. Um, and with the C2, I didn't seem to have a problem coming back, uh, because it did, did a pretty good job of bringing me back to the point where I left off. The Karaka did not. It had issues. So... We're not going to tempt fate. We're going to go to uh, Lantham, I think it's called. The other location on Ariel. It's a little more expensive to buy titanium there, so I don't, usually I didn't go there. But we don't have much of a choice, so. At least I'm hoping we don't 30k from Lantham. God, I hope it's not the whole freaking moon. Suck. I already had one thirty K tonight <laughs> doing this. Not this, but earlier when we were making the box. Or Lathan. Lathan. Or Lathan? I don't know. Timmer's working. That's a start. Of 
course, is dark. I hate the dark. Ugh. At least I don't get a whole lot of wind on the area, which is good. You see, lighting lights would be so nice right now. <laughs> I'd like to be able to see. See better. I mean, we can barely fit on this pad. Go buy some uh, titanium. It may be a little air night. Although I think that last guy was just here. I think he took all the air night, so I'm sure we won't be getting any today. so long. I have to remember where the storage building is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, it's been a while. I usually go to Bezdeck. Seven up oh, thirty one. So we'll take that and any titanium you may have. Awesome. Of 
course I forgot to write down how much I had and all that, so I'll post it. I'll post it when we make the sale. But I'm curious to see how much I can make with that carrot on the run. With the C2, I usually make, I think it's around 130k per run. So we'll have to see what the, see what the, or the C2, I'm sorry, with the C2 I can do 130 a run. Let's see what we can do with the Carrick. get the Hurston from here still. <laughs> it would really suck if we, uh, I just love, because what happened last time I 30k'd in this guy, I said it was actually an app crash, but I call it 30k. Um, it was able to put me back in the Carrick in orbit around, uh, Ariel, because I was only going to an orbital marker first. Um, but I got stuck in the sh inside the ship. I couldn't get out of it. And the C2, I didn't seem to have that problem. Okay. Quantum drive. Quantum drive. Skyline. Hmm. Maybe glass. I think we're set. so good I would have uh, we would have lost it right there if we were having problems coming from my lap and oh shoot see that's why I use voice attack because I never make those kind of mistakes I accidentally keen the engage I hate it when I press the B button, but I don't hold it down. I mean, I just, oh, he just turned it off instead of... Uh, Thank God it's daytime.
Farm drive. Where is... There we are. This thing moves quickly, but it doesn't stop very well. So, well, again, like the C2, C2 just stops on a dime. This thing, you need to give it a little runway. I know what that building is called over there. The, you know, the, uh, the Loreville Tower. I don't know what it is. Landing gear deployed. Seems like it has a name. I don't know. Or should. Too low. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. Probably the biggest uh, bay they have, which usually I spend forever trying to get across. And for this guy, it's probably going to be just the right size. He's there. That's so cute. Off. I don't know why they can't retract those. way out there. Off. 
Actually, we don't play. Because I can't even see the back end. Yeah, we're good. I will tell you, I mean, I, obviously with practice, I'm sure I'd get better at that, but it, that, uh, it's a really, this is a really tough one to, to land compared to other, uh, larger ships I've flown, specifically the C2. It just, these guys, I think, require a lot more finesse. Although I think the caterpillar is even worse. I I I bought one a while ago. Uh, I lost it in the last wipe, and I didn't bother buying it again because it just wasn't wasn't for me. The microbite like flew. This was not bad. It's just like I said, I think you gotta get used to how it handles. Oh wait, shoot! It's going up. I want to see what the cargo looks like. Actually, a lot. <laughs> when I was looking down, I was like, "Yeah, that's not that much." And it's interesting with uh, 17 or 3.17 more two. These are solid now. I used to be able to walk through them, like when I was on the C2, and I'd begun checking out the uh, checking out the cargo. You could walk right through it, <laughs> it like it wasn't even there. That's nice. Oh wait, let's go see the last cargo bay. Oh, yes, look at that. Amazing. Okay, let's go make our sale, and then we'll be done for the day. I'm guesstimating this will probably be 100k. I bet. That's my guess. Really big hanger. So, geez, I don't know. What, is there anything bigger than the Carrick? I honestly think the Carrick is bigger than the C2. That's, I mean, that's saying something. Still makes me sad about the Spartan. I really wanted that to work. Uh, I mean, I kind of figured it wouldn't fit in my uh, Mercury Star Runner, but because this is a size four vehicle, I really thought that Carrick would be able to handle it, and especially since it was really getting in there. Welcome. It just 
to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Look like it'd be really tight. Please visit us again. Alright, and then we head on down to the CBD. Central Business District. Person security reserves the right to search travelers at any time. Thirty seconds. Good grief. Stupid train. This is what takes forever when I do uh, my uh, cargo runs. It's like good grief. You know, I, after after you've landed, it's like you got like another ten minutes before you actually can start another run again. I also don't think we're getting the cargo refactor for 3.18, which makes me sad. I watched their their recap video the other day, and in no place did they mention the cargo refactor. It's like, so my mule is still going to be kind of useless. I was really, really hoping I'd be able to carry that one SCU box with it, you know, because then it would be it would be awesome. It would be. Perfect. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I really don't think we're going to see it. I haven't seen any videos of it where they even discuss it. Not really. Like, show you how it's going to work. Or... Like, I would think they'd have to completely redo. I mean, may, they made it sound like when it does come, we're going to be we're going to be in charge of moving, you know, cargo from point A to point B. To do that, I, oh my God, that would be insane. It would have to be, you'd have to have like a warehouse or something, and they'd have to like loan us mules, I guess. Unless you, I can't imagine you. It's not everybody's going to be bringing their own mule with them. You can't fit it in their vehicle. I could probably, obviously, I could fit one in the C2, but you know, what if you're bringing a little like a, uh, a hole or something, you know, you're not going to have any way of trans of moving the box around this, I guess you're doing one at a time with a, uh, with a tractor beam, which you can't do in an armistice zone, so I don't know how they're going to do it. So I'll be, I will be very curious to see how that works. Anyway. Alright, so let's make our sale. With Carrick, Sour Laronite. Okay. And then our titanium. All right. So, like I said in, in uh, post editing, I will. Uh, right now, I'm putting the putting the total that we uh, just made in our in our run. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be hundred thousand. That's what I think. So, anyway, so that's our cargo run with the uh, Carrick. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll uh, see you next time. Have a great day. Scrap Chat out.